All right. Holy fucking shit. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, welcome back. I said shit in the beginning, so with YouTube's new policy, this should now get demonetized. But I didn't make money off these anyway. Today, we are here to react to the new Aurelian Soul gameplay update. I didn't realize this came out. I just saw it, that it was on my feed, and I needed to react to this. I used to be a old school Aurelian Soul enjoyer. I used to love Aurelian Soul. I didn't do any of the nonsense they used to do with him in pro play, which is, you know, clear the wave in Rome. But I really like the stars being toggle. I think, like, old Aesol was so fun. And once they took away the stars being toggle, they ruined the fucking champion. Aside from what else they gutted him with, because, you know, he was too competitively viable. But regardless, the A or the gameplay update, I was going to say ASU because I just saw Ari's one. The gameplay update is finally out. It's finally out. We don't really have too many specifics here, but we're going to see it. We're going to break it down. Hopefully, it tells it to us. So, without further ado, let's see. I'm very excited for this, by the way. I really like Aesol. League also did a poll, right? Did a poll where they said Aurelian Soul is one of their most popular champs, if not the most popular champ visually. He is one of the champs that actually brings people to the game because he looks so interesting and so cool, which I agree with. But the issue is when they get on the game and they play Aesol, he sucks so much ass no one plays him. So he's interesting, he's just not good. Let's see if they finally remedy that. The Cosmic Creator. Are they going to describe it? Let's see. Passive. Is it going to... Is it going to describe it? Or like, what is this? Holy shit! What the hell did he just do? Okay, his Q, he literally breathes on you. And it looks like there's like some sort of stacking mechanic. His W is not the stars anymore, it's the E. It's the old E, okay. The new E drags you in naturally and slows you, wow, okay. So I'm assuming if you're CC'd, you're gonna get dragged in. If you're not CC'd, you just get like slowed. And his R is the star fall. And I guess when it's upgraded, it... Oh my god, what the fuck? It goes out the map? Well, not out the map, but... Holy fucking shit! What the hell? Okay, here's, here's his abilities. Here we go. So, <clears throat> Cosmic Creator Passive. Early and soul damaging abilities break down enemies into stacks of stardust. I really like how they're going off the lore here which permanently improves each of his abilities. If there's no cap on this, I'm going to love him. Breath of Light, his Q. Ironically enough, that's very similar to his old ult, which is Voice of Light. Uh, and the reason I know this is because I'm an Aurelian Soul aficionado. But anyway, uh, Aurelian Soul channels his Dragon Breath for a few seconds, damaging the first enemy hit and splashing reduced damage onto nearby enemies. So this is his wave clear. Each second the breath is channeled directly at an enemy will deal bonus damage, which is improved by the amount of Stardust that's been collected. I really hope there's no cap on Stardust. This ability collects Stardust if the target is a champion, obviously. Okay, cool. I remember with uh, using the W, while using W and using Q, it auto-targets for you, I believe, which is pretty cool. So the W, Aurelian Soul flies over terrain, similar to his old E. Well, in this state, he can cast other abilities. Breath of Night, low, no, fuck. Breath of Light no longer has a cooldown or maximum channel duration and deals increased damage while flying. Wow. Astral Flight's remaining cooldown is reduced whenever an enemy champion dies after being recently damaged by Aurelian Soul. Oh, okay, so it has a slight reset mechanic. Okay, cool. Stardust increases Astral Flight's maximum range. I hope it's not to a cap. I'm going to keep saying it. Singularity, his E. Early and Soul summons a black hole similar to Vagar, damaging and slowing enemies, pulling them towards its center. The ability grants Stardust each time an enemy dies within the black hole, and for each second, an enemy champion is caught inside of it. Dude, he is a late game scaler. I'm so happy. The center of the black hole execute enemies who are below a certain percentage of their max health. That's insane. Stardust increases Singularity's size as well as the execution threshold. Holy moly. Alright, his R, Falling Star. Falling Star, Aurelian Soul crashes a star into the earth, similar to Vagar. This impact deals magic damage and stuns enemies while granting Stardust for each enemy champion it hits. 
Gathering enough stardust transforms Aesol's next falling star into the sky's descend. The sky's descend. Aesol drags a giant star down from the heavens with an increased impact zone and increased damage, knocking up enemies rather than stunning them. A shockwave then spreads from the edge of the impact zone, which damages and slows enemies a hit. So in a team fight, it's going to hit everyone. It's essentially going to hit everyone. Stardust increases the impact area of both Falling Star and the Sky's Descent, so it doesn't increase the damage. I'm a little sad about that. But honestly, that's really cool. Let's see what some of the comments say. That R really seems to have an impact. Dude, oh my god, it's so good. I can't wait to see his other skins, too. It actually might, like, pressure me into, like, buying his other skins, even though I have a shit ton of chests, but... Let let's see the ult again. I want to see the ult again. So the ult comes down pretty quickly, I guess, but... See, that's insane. Like, holy shit. So it's probably like a Ziggzult where it does more damage in the center and everything. I'm sad they don't have his skins, man. They really don't have his skins. <sighs> oh, well. But anyway, yeah, that's the Aesol update. Looks not bad. I'm very excited. I'm honestly very excited. I think uh, Riot did good. I mean, obviously, we'll have to see numbers and everything. I don't think I'm going to react to that, but overall, pretty good. Anyway, I stream every day live at Twitch TV slash Technics channel at varying times because I'm sad. Go over there. Come watch me. Come chill. Uh, if you want me to react to anything or view anything, please tell me in the comments below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Eee!